Hello, this is Frida. Welcome to my channel. Today I would like to show you how to crochet an old vintage shell stitch that I crocheted years ago. And I made a baby blanket sets and uh, I used to gift them and sell them on my Etsy shop. Here's one um, set that I have uh, sold years ago, I believe 2009. I made a set, a cardigan, a baby booty, a blanket, a hat. See? And uh, this cardigan is done uh, yoke style from top down. As you can see, the shells are upside down. And here's the baby blanket, the hat, and the baby booty. So for today, I'm going to show you how to crochet this stitch. And um, I usually don't do tutorials on Tuesdays, but I said, let me just show the stitch. And uh, I will show you how to crochet a cardigan. And I do have baby booties in my channel, so go and check them out. And you can just change the stitch to this stitch to create this uh, baby booty. And here's the baby blanket. This is how it looks like. It's done two double crochet, two chain, two double crochet and front post. And then it's a repeat. So grab the yarn that you have and uh, let's get started on crochet, how to crochet the stitch. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to chain a couple of chains and I will come and show you how to crochet the stitch. So let's get started. Okay, so I have chained a couple of chain here just to show you how to uh, crochet uh, this stitch. Let me uh, fix my screen here because it's very close. I had to do a close up. Okay, so I chained and what we're going to do is we're going to be uh, making a double crochet on the six. So just count your chain. And then right here, so where the six chain is, make a double crochet. And then make another double crochet on that same. Just like this. Okay. Chain two. And then make two more double crochets. So this is the shell stitch. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to make a double crochet on the next step. Okay, to do that we're going to be skipping two chains, so just count two and on the third make a double crochet right here. Poke your crochet hook. Okay, I'm using a baby yarn and I'm using a 3.5 crochet hook. Okay, so again, again skip two on the third. We're going to make a shell stitch. So when we're doing that uh, double crochet, we are not chaining or anything. And when you look at it, you will see that this shell is slanting towards this double crochet. And it gives you that nice look. Okay, and then the next stitch. Again, double crochet, two chain. And on that same, we make two more double crochet. So this is all to it. We just repeat over and over and then we skip two and on the third we make a double crochet and again we skip two on the third we make a double crochet. And then make two double crochet, two chain, then two double crochet. With this stitch you can make anything you want. Afghans, baby blankets. Oh, it's endless. Okay, so I'm going to skip two and on the third I'm going to make a double crochet and I'm going to finish this row because uh, I'm done. I'm going to chain three to go up, turn my work, and I'm just going to go in between where the two chain is and then make two double crochet, 
So it's one re one row repeat. We repeat it over and over until the length that you want. This would be great for uh, baby blankets, afghans, ponchos, uh, anything that you want. And then again, so we're going to do the front post. To do that, we're going to grab it from here and then make it double crochet. Okay, and it gives you that 3D look. And then we're going to make the shell stitch. So two double crochet, two chain, two double crochet. It's reversible. The two sides are same and it looks uh, elegant. Okay, again, go and grab that front post and make a front post double crochet. Oh, I have a tango. I'm using, because uh, the yarn is uh, thin, I bought this yarn from Svetlana. And if you check, if you have been following me, you will see that I do yarn unboxing and I have all the links. Oh, I have a, I need, I need to get rid of this knot. I'll be right back. Okay, so I had to get rid of that knot. <laughs> so I did my front post. So I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go where the two chains is and make two double crochet. Two chain, two double crochet. Okay, so we just finished our second row. What we're going to do is we're going to start the third row. Okay, so to finish this up, I usually do double crochet and I finish it or what you can do is you can poke your crochet hook into that first chain and then make your double crochet either way would work it gives you that nice uh, edge but I like to do mine this way see it's the same way, but I, I like it. I, I've been doing it for years this way. I crochet my edges this way. So I chain three to go up. I turn my work and I repeat what I just did over and over. So I come to the shell and I make two double crochet, two chain, oops, Two double crochet okay on one side we did front post on this side we're going to do back post okay to grab it from here this is how we grab it back post and then we make a double crochet okay so it looks like and then again we make the shell stitch two double crochet two chain two double crochet so one side we make front post the other side you can see that we make back post so we grab it from here and then we make a double crochet the reason we're doing it that way as you can see the post this uh, double crochets are giving you that 3d look so that's what we want and then I just jump and make my shell stitch just like this chain two double crochet and then you repeat it over and over the way that I showed you one but don't forget one two three go up turn your work one row is front post and one row is back post where you do that uh, double crochet two chain and uh, it's really nice you don't have to worry about anything you don't have to count anything you just sit, relax, and watch TV, watch a movie, and then you won't make any mistakes because uh, it's just a repeat. See, front post. Two chain. Oops, not three. One, two. So it's always two, 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 two. You pull at two, you make two double crochets, you two, two chains. That's how I learned this stitch when I learned it. And uh, you make a front post on one side and the other side is a back post. You will see the difference automatically when you're crocheting. Oh, this is really nice. Too bad it's not, it's Tuesday. Usually I start a new project, but I don't on Tuesdays. 
and then I finish it up. I chain three and turn my work. So this is how it looks like. This is the wrong side of the work. Well, it's reversible, so you don't have to worry about it. And uh, this is how it looks like from the front. So I hope you like this uh, short tutorial. I just wanted to share it because I, I am planning to make a, a baby sets and uh, I will go from there. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe, share it with your family and friends and happy crocheting. Stay home, stay safe. Take care, everybody.